Hello everyone. Let's continue working on this lead screw. Uh, so, what I want to do, I want to make a bed out from aluminum here. Uh, that it's not a two pieces, that it's one piece. And also, very likely that I will use this washer to mount it here. Uh, that when I'm compressing the nut, the screws is not going around and not damaging that. Let's make it. Now it's time for some cutting. And here's the result. So, it's done. In my last video you also saw something similar. Uh, I was used two pieces of aluminum and screws like to, to, to mount the nut and to mount the moving part and to compress the moving part. But now I'm using one piece of aluminum and it's a time to mount the nut to the milling machine head. It's possible to mount it like this, then I don't need to do nothing more. But the problem here will be that uh, nut is goes down of the milling machine and I'm actually don't like it. Um, so I will cut a bit or trim a bit here to mount this nut a bit more up to the milling machine and very likely that I will need to drill another holes that I will not fit into this one. Uh, also because it's only, it, it, it's, they, they are also certain millimeters wide between them that, and I couldn't uh, make this wider because uh, uh, there are already the um, tower. The holders from the towel. So, uh, to make these trims, I will need to remove all the electronics or almost all the electronics, uh, the shaft. And as I don't have another milling machine, I will use uh, this drill press. Uh, I was measured it will be possible to mount small cross table here and hold this head on the cross table. Uh, will I have some accuracy here? I'm really not sure, but I hope that I will not destroy it at all. Anyway, um, here I are pretty fine finishing so if I mount this nut somewhere here and it's basically lying like this maybe I will not hide it completely maybe I will um, trim only here a bit um, and if not is mounted to this side everything will be fine so let's go to the streaming So it's main electronic part of the milling machine, this mounting table, this uh, engine controller with engine, and this are uh, the milling head itself. Okay, I'm liking. I could do that without removal of the shaft. 
So I will mount just the one to three block and mount the milling head to this block. So I'll have like a 90 degree over here. Um, and if I'm mounting this to the cross table, very likely that it will it, it could work. At least at the moment, these are the idea. We'll see. It's working. So, my idea is how to do it, how to cut here, is actually working. Look how it goes. I'm moving a bit here in this direction. Pulling on machine and pressing it. And I'm moving very, very slow. So what I can say is possible and it's working. It's possible to mill on the drill press. <laughs> of course it's not made for it, um, but nevertheless, okay, I will show you how I'm doing it. So every next pass, I'm moving uh, the drill bit, the milling bit uh, down with the pressing of the drill um, and setting the limitation. Uh, also I'm cutting very small cuts. It actually takes edges but it's possible. It's possible, and I'm happy that uh, it looks like it will work. So, man down, removing limitation, and moving like half a millimeter. And again. The most difficult part is done. Trim here and make this hole wider. Whew, it was not easy. And now it's a moment to assemble everything together and test how it will work. So, as I mentioned, there is enough place now for the screw and holder for the nut. The screw down to the milling head. It looks like it should work. But will it? I don't know yet. It's usually stuff like that is working. So that's how it looks like. It's possible to tune a bit not from the bottom. Um, but at the moment it's these screws are loose and I want just to test if everything fits into the main machine and everything is movable. Let's mount it to the main machine. One more time I need to disassemble this stuff. I hate this engineer who decide to add this nut here. And to disassemble it, I need to 
And screw this knot. It's it's terrible. It's really terrible. So do it once, okay. To do it twice, okay. But if you do it already ten times, it's terrible. It's the most terrible. Construction that I ever so I hate this part actually already. <laughs> First of all, clean bearings with the trash grease. If bearings works good, then everything will work good. It's one of the rules. So all the time. Bearings need to be clean and with grease. Of course it's possible to use just an oil there, but grease will work longer, much longer. Okay, these bearings uh, has a different size. There are mobile and non mobile side, so it's even visually recognizable. So on the mobile side we have a bigger hole, and on non mobile side we have smaller hole. So it means that when I'm assembling everything together, I'm mountain bearings with no mobile side to the bottom of the shaft then our top here I could use some oil And another one bearing again, mobile side to the bottom and non mobile side to the top. And as I don't have at the moment the handle, I will use uh, some of the washers and two nuts. Okay, looks like it's working. More and up and more down. A few more steps at the moment. Um, it's a compressed nut and uh, add a thread lock for the compression screws. And then assemble everything together. As it's just a 3mm screws, I will use a thread lock for all the screws. I'm already see that it's enough of possible movement on the top plate. That it's possible to tune the entire system there. So at the beginning I will need to Remount the nut to the bed. And add some thread lock there. Okay, now the tune of this nut. Basically, compression of the nut. I think it will be enough. 
so it's not rotated really so no play at all actually this screw together with the nut is pretty cheap I think I was paid less than five euros on the Aliexpress so it's quite cheap update but I'm pretty sure that it will work much better than it works with the original one at least because of the nut it's uh, made of brass and also a longer and bigger screw so quite cheap update for that everyone could do for the frog song. But this update will change a lot in your milling machine. Okay, now everything on its place. I want to add some oil to the nut and screw it up. I think it will move a bit better after that. Okay, I need to move completely up. Okay, and in this position I could mount a top plate. Mounting top plate you should always move mobile part, doesn't matter it's a table or it's a Z or it's a million head, you need to move it directly to the plate. Pretty free in both directions. And I don't feel the play at all. But I still need to adjust the middle head itself. So for that, I'm working with the screws on the side. And that's it for this video. The screw itself is mounted, everything working fine. In the next video I will work on the handle and mounting this limp to the top of the screw. Because of course I want to use something different so <laughs> instead of wrench to Capability to move up and down. Not to lose my videos, my new videos, uh, just subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye bye.